the purpose of this lesson is to walk you through with doing some understanding about some more understanding about Adobe Illustrator and in terms of laser cutting or laser etching just kind of wrapping your head around some things and get you helping you adjust your file getting set up and then even through the process of printing first thing one most important thing is you got to figure out what's the size of your canvas or what's what's the size of what you're making so for and again this information is more so related to the infinity mirror project that we're doing here at the school this white square I made this a six by six inches six by six inches that's number one because let's say if this was a if I made let's say this is 24 by 24 inches well then now these shapes are like gigantor it's quite way too big so you got to start with the right size canvas and that way that you do that is when you do file new you can just choose that stuff that's shown in the practice lesson next thing we need to think about is what well, well what do you want what is your image going to be how many layers do you want I mean that's something you got to plan out too but I'm just with this lesson we're just thinking about one layer so let's say somebody's like wow I really want to have a Goomba in the middle of my infinity mirror I want to laser etch or laser cut out a Goomba so we have two different Goombas here from Super Mario Bros and this one is while a piece of art it is <laughs> very interesting looking uh, this is more like a photograph you can say this is more like a photograph versus this is just like a black and white outline when we're laser etching the laser etcher is not a printer it's just it's the strength of the light will kind of affect like the depth of the etching so if, if you use a photograph the laser yes a laser can etch a photograph but it's you don't have color and it's not going to be as detailed as this so the, um, if you're laser etching a photograph it's just not going to look as good as well the actual photograph so just keep that in mind I recommend you don't laser etch a photograph or something that's really uh, like very shaded it's just not going to turn out well versus if you do something that is like has black outline maybe there maybe there's three colors or two colors black and white or maybe there's a little bit of gray here and there something or shaded <clears throat> sometimes that can look perfectly fine this will definitely turn out and stand out because we have black against white so it's just going to etch this um, all at the full depth and that etched area will stand out directly from the white area white does not get etched if there's any kind of color even if it's slightly off white it will get etched so if I took a nice picture of Goomba here and let's say this was like a slight off white it would actually the laser would etch that so you got to keep that in mind anyway so the best ideal thing to do is get like if you type if you Google search like black and white let's say I want Goomba I type in Goomba black and white or I type in Goomba sil silhouette I type in something um, to get like more like black and white or silhouette type picture so I'm gonna get rid of this beautiful looking Goomba here I'm gonna drag this guy over notice mine's a little pixelated it's not it's not bad but I I'm just trying to go fast here you're not going to want yours to be pixelated like that because it, it will laser etch and have um, that pixelated kind of look on there so you got to keep that in mind if all I was doing if all I was doing was let's say I'm taking a clear piece of plexiglass and I'm etching I just want to etch this Goomba's design let's say in the middle of this clear piece of plexiglass that's like the easiest thing to do and that's okay if that's what you want to do I'm nearly done I'm like almost done with this then if that's what I'm doing so if I just want this Goomba kind of centered I want it to really stand out on a clear piece of plexiglass I don't need the shape cut out I'm just gonna have this cut out as a square I am nearly done if that's the case what I actually need to do is I need to tell the laser to cut this square out the way that I do that I'm gonna draw a square so I go to my square rectangle tool and I align my stuff in the upper left corner draw drag it over So I'm just I'm just getting my box set up here notice my box is in front when I have this box I don't want any fill this means none no fill but I do need stroke stroke means that it's like outlined so I need this box outlined if you remember the laser cutter it will not cut out anything unless the stroke is 0 0.001 so you can just barely kind of see my outline box I need to change oops I need to change the stroke of my box to 0 0.001 0 0.001 points 
That's what the PT means. 0 0.001 PT, I press enter. Now the laser knows that when I send it this file, it's going to cut a 6 inch by 6 inch box and it's going to etch. This is going to be etched in because this is not 0 0.001. This is just a thick black line. The laser will etch that. Now, you should be precise though. I just, I'm just eyeballing this. That's not good enough. I should center it if it's supposed to be centered. So this is an important tip. I need you to get used to doing this. I go to view. So I click view. I go to show grid. When I click show grid, now I can see this grid. This grid helps me line it up. If you notice, I have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes, six bigger boxes. That's because each one of these bigger boxes is an inch. Each little box, if you count, there's eight of them. So that means each little box is an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to center this. So I have an even number of boxes on the left and the right. So right now, I have right around 10 on the left and 10 on the right. And 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I got about 4 above and below. So my Goomba is now centered. So if all I was doing was, as I described before, let's say I'm taking a clear piece of plexiglass. I want the Goomba etched, meaning not cut out. I just want the Goomba etched. And now I have this out this perimeter box here, this file is done. But let's say that's actually not what I'm doing. Let's say I want the Goomba shape cut out and I want the Goomba, let's say, standing in the bottom of the plexiglass. So what I actually need to do then, so again, this is a different scenario. So we got two different scenarios here. Scenario one, we already talked about what we just finished. I just want Goomba etched. Scenario two is I'm actually I still need a six by six so I can think of the size, like how big I want the Goomba. But I actually, I'm not gonna cut out this whole square. I'm just gonna cut out just the Goomba. So I can actually delete this outside box. I don't need that. I just need the Goomba. Now we gotta kind of think this through a little bit because the wood has a slot. So that means if I put the Goomba's foot all the way at the bottom, that means the Goomba's, part of the Goomba's foot is gonna be sliced off. This, the depth of your slot is 3 eighths. So that means I count boxes. One, two, three. The bottom of my Goomba foot, I probably want to be right here to make it look like it's standing on the ground. So I'm going to drag my Goomba foot. I know it's kind of hard to see because this isn't transparent. It's going to be right, right around where I have it. That's right around where 3 eighths up is. Now, what I need to think about here, I can't just like, again, I can't just cut here and I can't have the Goomba floating. And I need light, like, shining into the Goomba. So essentially, I kind of need a rectangle underneath this thing, which I can show you how to do. I'm just going to go kind of fast and sloppy. You're, you're going to have to go precise, though. <clears throat> so what I actually need to do in order to cut this Goomba shape out, let's say I want to cut this whole Goomba out. Let's say I want the face etched. I want the face, I want the eyebrows and all this other stuff etched, but I actually want to cut the shape of the Goomba out. I want the laser to cut that out. I need to then trace around that Goomba. So notice, I'm going to stroke, I'm going to use black. As we talked about, I'm going to do 0 0.001 for the stroke because that's going to tell me to cut it out. 0 0.001. Enter. Now, I can draw all around this Goomba. Look, I'm, I'm using, and this is the curvy pen tool. So if you're doing a, if it, the Goomba all has curvy lines on it, so I got to use this curvy pen tool. So now I'm, I know my line, you're just barely going to be able to see it, and that's okay. It doesn't matter right now. So I'm tracing around my Goomba. In the interest of time, I'm not going to do all this. When I have a sharp edge like this, I double click, and then it allows me to go like a, like a hard, hard angle. So I'm tracing my Goomba, tracing my Goomba. Being precise, you can move these arrows or these these anchors once you're done to double click here because that's a corner. Boom, boom, boom. Double click in this corner. Boom, boom. Keep going around. Keep going around. Keep going around. Keep around. Now, once I get to the bottom of the foot, I'm just going to double click there. Now I'm going to press Escape to get off of the tool. So let's say let's just say I drew drew all around the Goomba. Now I need this like rectangle kind of part here. 
So now I'm going to go to the straight pen tool. There's a couple different ways you can do this, but I'm just going to go to the straight pen tool. I'm still on 0 0.001 stroke. I'm going to start at this point and I'm going to draw over. And you're going to have to decide, well, how far over do you want to go? That's your decision. I'm just going to go like here just so I have more space for it to stand on. And notice I'm drawing this rectangle. And I'm going to bring this back. I'm trying to not go any higher than 3 eighths. I'm going to bring this back here. Press escape, get off of that tool, go to my back to my curvy pen tool. Now, oop. Now notice I don't have a line here. This is where again, you got to you got to think this through. If I had a 0 0.001 point thick line here, then I'd be cutting off the foot from the rectangle and that would totally defeat the purpose of having this rectangle. So anyway, now I can draw the rest of my Goomba with my, my curvy line, double click here, tight angle, double click here, boom, boom. And I just keep going, Let's. I'm just going fast here. So I drag, I eventually go all the, right, all the way around the Goomba and I close it off here. I don't know why it's trying to do what it's doing right now. Right. I don't know why it's doing that. There. So now my Goomba, I fully traced around it with the 0 0.001 thick line. I have my rectangle base. And if I want to modify any of these little anchor points, this is the mouse that you want to use to, to do that. And then you can kind of click and drag um, if you messed up on some lines. But anyway, that's how you trace around the object and you make like a base that it can stand on the light would be passing through this this is the part that would be in the wood now let's say this is done and i'm ready so now here's a couple things i need you to do i need you to think about how we want to conserve our material meaning we like we don't want to just plop this shape right in the middle of this six by six inch six inch square of our plexiglass we don't need we don't need this whole thing cut out so it would be wasteful to cut this out where it is. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything that I just did. I'm going to group it together. Notice I click group. And then I'm going to drag it. I want it in the upper left corner. Now there's a couple different ways I can do this. Notice my arrow. It can do like an arc thing. There's another way you can do this to make sure you're precise. Is you can transform. And you can rotate. I'm going to put it upside down. So I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. Boom. Now that flat point, like if I'm aligning the piece of plexiglass in the upper left corner of the laser cutter, then this line will already be lined up with that. So this is what we've got to do so we're not wasteful. Notice my blue lines I'm aligning in the upper left corner and it kind of locks in for me. <clears throat> so that way now this plexiglass is all still usable. I'm aligning this in the upper left corner. This is basically ready to go. Now I can print this. I go to print. And then here's what we got to do to print this. Very important steps. Otherwise, you're going to mess this up. So it's kind of a pain. A couple little things here. I click the drop down arrow. I go to Epilogue Helix. Epilogue Helix is the name of our printer or our laser cutter, I should say. And then a couple other important things you got to make sure. You got to make sure there's not like an auto rotate. You got to get rid of, make sure that's not checked. And you want to put the placement in the upper left corner. Otherwise, again, we're wasting it in the middle. So you got to put upper left corner. And that's not all. We got to go to setup. Click continue. And we're on Epilogue Helix. I go to preferences. And there's a couple things you got to do here. Just leave this on combined. That's perfectly fine. Make sure your horizontal says 24. Make sure your vertical says 18. That's the size of our laser cutter. This speed and power. So if we're doing an acrylic plexiglass, you can leave the power at 100%. And then just like 65% is plenty speed, 75%, whatever. Something like 65 to 75% speed is plenty good. Vector setting. This is the cut through setting. This is very, very, very important. For the cut through setting, let's turn this down to 4%. It's just we want to make sure it cuts through the first time. We're turning the speed down to 4%, but we want the power to 100%. Frequency all the way up to the right here at 5,000 as well. I click OK. And then when the laser cutter is on, so I click print, 
but show so show me before you click this print button uh, turn the laser cutter on get your piece of plexiglass ready and then have me look at all this your settings and that kind of stuff and then and then we'll have you click print and then it'll print so I click print and then it's going to send it to it anyway so that's how you do this if you are um, if you're printing the earlier style one that we had the earlier style Goomba that's just like the big rectangle your printing procedures are exactly the same all right that's all I got for you thanks